Hi Gemini, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do your reading for the month of December. This is for Gemini Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. Um, but this isn't a private reading so it may not have your name on it, okay? It may be for you or it may not. We'll see what comes up. I focus on love. We're going to get one of these and then we're going to use that for our deck today. I am not accepting private readings at this time. End of January. I will announce when I go back to doing that. No exceptions. Gemini. What does Gemini need to hear? Now keep in mind, this is for the whole month of December. It's being recorded at the end of November. It could resonate now, or it could resonate December 5th, or it could resonate December 21st. You know, it could. we have a whole month in December. So if it doesn't resonate right now, check back at a later time. Man holding heart. Somebody has an offer for you if, if you are a woman. If you are a woman or a feminine, okay, you have a man here that is coming to you with an offer of love. If you are the Gemini man, it looks as though your heart is ready. And you are probably about to make an offer to somebody. Or somebody sees your heart and they're going to make an offer to you. Either way, the heart is involved. Okay, and somebody is opening their heart. That's for sure. I, it looks like it's an offer of love to me. Gemini. What does Gemini need to know for the month of December? Looks as though they're going to receive some sort of offer. You know, this could even be some... If you are in a relationship now, there could be, it could be moving up to the next level. You could be getting a proposal even. Um, if you are a woman, you are absolutely receiving something from a man whose heart is ready for you okay uh oh but you need to let go of your bitterness and your resent okay because that's not going to get you anywhere we have a woman who and this is you <laughs> if you are the gemini woman who is bitter and resentful and has her guard up you have to let go of that mentality you need to be optimistic instead of pessimistic you need to be able to see things through you know, a different light, a different perspective. Be open to the possibilities instead of closed off. I mean, the very first card is you. If you're the woman here, or if you are the man, this is the woman that you're dealing with that isn't completely healed from the past hurt. She's still resentful, okay? So we have a man that has an offer, but if you are going to... You know, let the past hurts cause harshness. I mean, this is a harsh, harsh energy. You need to let your guard down. You can't. I wouldn't throw this opportunity away. And, and this looks like, you know, if you act like this, if you act bitter and resentful, towards this this man he, he this man has a genuine offer that's what i'm trying to say don't let the past hurts and the past bitterness stop you from seeing what he's offering There's obstacles. And you know what the obstacles is? Yourself. You're the obstacle here. There's an obstacle in the way that needs to be re removed. And it's your own thoughts. It's your own negative thoughts that need to be removed. Let go of that negative thinking. Let go of that 
Put your shield down, okay? There's fear of commitment here because, you know, you want balance. You want harmony. You, you want to get what you deserve. You want somebody who's going to put in equal effort. I think you've been waiting for quite some time for what you deserve. Now this man is coming with an offer and you may feel like, is this real? Is this well suited for me? Will this, will there be any growth here? What are his hidden agendas? You're, you're feeling like, you're really scared. I think you're really scared of this man. What secrets does he have? You know, instead of being awesome, optimistic, I see pessimistic here. And I feel as though, oh goodness, let me get the rest of the cards. Yeah, you have been waiting. You have been waiting for quite some time and you've dealt with a lot of pain. And now you're not going to settle. Right? You're not going to settle. So that's why your guard is up. It's like, you know, I'm not going to settle for a player. I'm not. I want somebody who is truly emotionally available. But the own, the obstacle that is in the way of, of love here is yourself. Your fears, your, protect, or your need to protect yourself. You've patiently waited for this delivery. You have for this love. You've patiently waited for it. You've worked on yourself. You've done a lot of healing. You've done a lot of healing. You have. But there's one more There's one more step. Okay, you've got to step outside of your comfort zone. You've got to move, remove that last obstacle. And that last obstacle is bitterness from the past. You need to open your heart. You need to be more playful. Because this man, if you are the woman watching this, sees your beauty, sees your worth. If you are the man, the Gemini man, you have a very beautiful woman here who is afraid. She's afraid. She's afraid to let you in because somebody has stabbed her in the past. She's afraid to invest. The woman here is afraid to invest because of her past hurts. She's afraid to open her heart. She wants this love. She's been waiting for this love, but she's afraid of it. The last person she was with had hidden agendas and didn't follow through. He got distracted. He or she got distracted. Somebody got distracted. And she didn't get what she deserves. And now she's to the point where, you know, she's done a lot of inner work. She's done a lot of healing. She knows what she's worth. She's beautiful. She's glowing. And she's like, I will not settle for less. I will not. I want exactly what I deserve. And I'm going to commit to nothing less. And now you are going to receive some sort of communication from somebody that... probably makes you feel uncomfortable because I think this communication that you receive is honest communication and it involves your heart you know it's going to touch your heart so what the hell is this um so Gemini I feel like you're going to receive an offer of love if you're the woman, you're going to receive an offer of love. If you are the man, it looks like you're going to be, the, you're, you have somebody in mind. And she's beautiful and she's worthy, but she's scared. She's really scared. Um, but yeah, there's going to be a, there's going to be some sort of communication coming in from somebody that's been, if you're the woman, you, somebody's been watching you. Somebody has been watching you and they're, they're coming. They're coming with this offer. After keeping it a secret for quite some time. They're about to come with the truth. Somebody is going to come and tell you their true feelings. If you are the Gemini man, it looks as though you are the communicator. You're the one that's going to communicate how you feel to this woman. But 
Let's see what happens here. What's going to happen? There's fear of commitment. It's fear. I'm really scared. I'm scared to get in a commitment and invest in this because, you know, I don't want to get involved in no one-sided situation here. Um, yeah, there's... <laughs> So you could be dealing with a Pisces, you could be dealing with a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, we have Pisces twice, Pisces, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Taurus, and Libra. So it looks as though there's been some deception here, there's been some lies, there's been some confusion, and somebody hasn't been telling the truth, but I think the truth is about to come out. And I think somebody's angry. Somebody we have we have somebody here, a man that is, you know, if you see his fist, he's like upset. He's 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 been watching, and now he's upset, and he has to go after what he wants. It's like you can't escape this reality anymore. This woman, this empress, she has multiple opportunities. She's the pick of the litter because she doesn't settle. And I think that somebody has been watching the Gemini woman or whoever this woman is. They've been watching this woman and they know that she does have multiple options and they're going to have to face their fear of commitment. Fear of commitment. Somebody in this dynamic has had a fear of commitment and now it's time to face the reality. It's like you have to face the reality of it. Somebody is coming in lickety split, <laughs> like flying. We have somebody that is like kicking it into high gear going after what they want destiny they're taking it into their own hands we have a man that is coming in and they are like <laughs> rushing somebody is rushing right into your life gemini it's time it's time for a change divine timing to face their fears and step outside of their comfort zone because this woman has so many opportunities. She has so many options. Many options. And this man knows it. So I think this man is coming with an offer because the woman that he wants... <laughs> has offers of love from someplace else. And he's got to go get his destiny. He's get, he's getting on his horse and he's going to get his reward or his good luck or his fortune or whatever this is, whatever it is. This is good luck, good fortune. He's going after what he wants. He's facing his fears. He doesn't want to be alone anymore. He doesn't want to grow old alone. It's like he's been enlightened and he's he's coming out of his shell. So we have somebody here that is taking charge and making a very um, fast entrance into your life. Somebody is going to be coming in like that, like that, like coming to get what's theirs. That's what it looks like to me. Um, because we have another, we have another man here. I think there's there's a couple options. We have um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This is another man. Or it could be even the same man. This is a very confident man that takes the lead. So that you could be dealing with an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, somebody that is going after you. They're stepping out of their comfort zone. They're no long, they don't want to be alone anymore. If you are the Gemini man, you're taking on these qualities. You're finding the confidence to go get what you want. So yes, yeah, so we have a man that's going for what he wants. He's coming to get you if you're the Gemini woman. Uh-oh, we have a change of course here for sure. With the Wheel of Fortune and the Tower card, we have a drastic change of course, okay? Drastic. Something, there's a change here, big one. Big, 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 big one. And it's, I mean, we have, and it's a major one. The Tower, the Moon, the Wheel of Fortune, the Hermit. Okay, these are majors. They're majors with the Empress cards. They're major arc. We have a major shift, major change. Something big is coming. Somebody is going to need to face. They're going to be facing their fears. They're going to have to. They're going to see the reality, or they're going to get a, a rude awakening here. Somebody is absolutely going to get a rude awakening that 
<laughs> they need to shit or get off the pot by the looks of things. And it looks like they're going to get off the pot. Um, they're going to tell the truth. So, some, co some kind of communication is coming through that somebody is going through getting an awakening for sure. Somebody is going to come with the truth. There's a soulmate connection here. This is a new beginning. So, Gemini, if you are single, you have a man that is coming in with a, a, a an offer. It's an honest, genuine offer. And even though you're scared of it, you're scared that, you know, because the last one didn't last... You're scared that because the last one crumbled, you're scared to let this person in. Let go of that mentality. Let go of that mentality because this person is genuine. This person has a honest, truthful offer. And if you are the Gemini man, it feels as though the woman that you are dealing with is really scared because the last person that she dealt with was false. So I think we have two different scenarios here. I think that we have two options. I do. I think that we have a new person and we have an old person. Because I feel like we have somebody here that is getting a reality check. They are getting a rude awakening that this woman has options and she's moving on. I think that we, the woman here is, has found a partner. That's what I think. She's found the, the one that is going to put in effort or something like that. And now we have this man that is like, you know what? I'm going to get what's mine before it's gone. That's what it looks like to me. So there's definitely a change, of course, here. With the Wheel of Fortune and that Tower card. Big change. Major change is coming. And it's because the woman in this dynamic has found her confidence. She's found her self-worth. She knows who she is. She knows what she wants. And she's not settling for this. Anything less than what she deserves. There's, it's a time of transition. So it, we have a new beginning here. You may get some closure with somebody from the past, which allows you to start in a new beginning. This is the death. The death of something that no longer serves you. Bitterness, resent, perhaps? Fear? Life is changing for the better, for sure. You have a major, again, another major, a major new beginning. And you're going to have to make a choice. I just shuffled, and we got this still on the bottom. You have to make a choice. You have choices. You have options. You do have options. Especially, you know, either one. There's options here. Choose wisely. Only one of these options is logical. Only one of these options is true. And there's consequences for choosing the, the wrong one. So I think we have a Gemini here that has multiple options. <laughs> There's definitely an ending and a new beginning. I th because you see where I put this card. There's an ending of one relationship in the beginning of a new one. And the choice is up to you. You have a choice. And I do think it's between the past and the, and the, and the present. So yeah, I think that somebody is going to be faced with a fated change of course, you know, or a fated event or some sort of 
communication or something comes in that causes some um, Fear, for sure, causes some sort of fear. Some sort of communication is going to come in that causes somebody to have a reality check. Whether it's the, whoever it is, I don't know. Somebody's about to get a reality check. Because a change is needed. Interesting. Ooh, love. It is love. Yeah, you're getting an, you're getting an opportunity for, for true love at this time. Open your heart, please. If you are the woman in this dynamic, open your heart because this man is genuine. He's coming with a... You know, his heart. He's got his heart in his hand. He's coming to offer you his heart. Love. Let go of your fears that the deception that caused a breakdown in the past is going to happen again. Okay? Let go of that fear. Because this is a this is a gift from God. It's a blessing in disguise that that other one crumbled. Trust me, it is. There was stuff going on behind the scenes. There was hidden forces here. There was a reason why it crumbled. Don't hold on to that bitterness. You have a better offer overflowing damn I just shuffled it didn't I just shuffle again I don't know if I did I thought I did Jeez, some crow there's opportunity for true love here with a soulmate because these two are soulmates somebody you're going to be receiving some sort of communication from a man if you're a woman if you're the man you're making the communication that's honest genuine and true But you got to let go of the old relationship that wasn't abundant. Stop hanging on to that. It's over. It's time to start again. It's time to build a new legacy with this person. Somebody is reluctant to let go of the past. Let go of the past. Let go of the past. This is reluctant to let go of the past. Six of Cups reversed. Let go of the past hurts. That didn't work out for a reason because this offer, this offer is full of love. So yeah, you guys have true love. It's true love. It's a soulmate connection. And you got somebody else that doesn't like it. They see it. You got somebody that is going to witness you. Somebody from your past, it looks like, that is going to witness you falling in love. And they aren't going to like it. And you're going to need to release so you can have the new beginning. Death, release so you can have this new beginning. Release the past, please. Because you have a new offer of love from somebody that is real. It's probably an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Finances and career, financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. Maybe, you know, you need to make time for it. I don't know. Maybe you meet this person out through work. I don't know. Oh boy, this could be the one you've already met, the romantic partner you seek. Absolutely. There's an opportunity for true love here. Don't look back. Don't look back. At your past hurts, your past bitterness. Your past resent, let it go. Face your fears because this is a true opportunity for love. Be prepared to receive some sort of communication from a man that has been watching you. He's coming forward. If you are with somebody now, you could get proposed to. Could step it up a notch. I do believe there's going to be a choice between two the past and the present because the past isn't going to like 
that you have found your soulmate. That's what I see. Good luck.